Now in the last video, we added random sprites to each of our object, and we noticed that the collider for each of these objects isn't correctly resizing itself. We're also able to see that every time we create a new object, we are able to find other scripts that contain the iRecycle interface. So let's go back in and clean all this stuff up. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is go back into our Recycle script. Once it opens up, let's delete this debug statement since we no longer need it, as we can see that it's working. Next, let's go into our obstacle class and add in the logic we need in order to resize the collider. The easiest way for us to do this is to get a reference of the collider and then change its size to the size of the sprite. Here I'll create a variable for the collider and we'll use get component to find a reference of the box collider 2D. Next, we can tell the collider's size that it should equal the renderer's bounds size property. This will give us the correct size based on the current sprite in the renderer. Let's save the script and go back into our game. Now, as we run it, we'll see that the collider has now been fixed and actually extends to the right size of the sprite. We'll give this a second to run. And as you notice, of course, this will be different for you. So I'll show it on my screen. Here's a TV. Now, if we look at the TV, there's an issue. If we zoom in, we'll see the box collider actually isn't correcting its offset based on where the sprite is. So if the object is taller than the last object it was, it won't actually have the collider in the right place. And this could be some problems later on when we add in our player. Now let's stop this, go back into our game, and make a few corrections to fix this. First, we're gonna to wanna to keep track of the offset for our collider. Let's add a public vector two, and we'll call this collider offset. And we'll make this a vector two that's been zeroed out. Now, down here in our restart method, let's change this line so that we're actually just getting the size of the sprite because we're gonna to need to do some calculations. The most important thing we're gonna to have to do is actually figure out how to recenter the box collider inside of this area. So first, let's change the size that we get back to take into account the offset. Here, we're gonna add the collider offset Y to the size Y value. Now, we can reset the collider size to the size that we calculated from the sprite. Then, we're gonna to wanna to change the collider's offset. We'll create a new vector, and in it, we'll use the opposite of the collider offset value X, and then we're gonna take half of the collider size, Y value, and then we'll subtract the collider offset Y. This will allow us to manually override any type of offset that we need to do based on the type of graphics we're adding. In this case, we're just gonna simply set them to zero. So we'll always assume that for right now, this is gonna be zero, even though we're making it negative. And in this case here, we're not gonna have an offset. We're simply dividing this in half. Later on, we'll have specific obstacles that have different size requirements where this will play in a more important role. Now let's save our script, go back into our game, and let's select the prefab and see if we can make this a little easier to test. Let's change the size to two. You'll see that the TV is the first object and the desk is the second. These are two good objects to test that this is working. Here we'll zoom out and we'll see that the TV now has the correct collider around it. And if we look at the desk, you'll see its collider is there as well. Let's run this for one more loop and make sure that the objects are constantly getting the correct collider size. We can do this by selecting them in the object pool and when each one gets created, you'll see that it's still working. So since we made this modification, there's one thing we wanna do. We actually wanna remove the TV because the TV has an antenna and we don't want the person to look like he's floating on top of the antenna when he jumps on it. So let's reset this back to zero, lock the inspector, go back into our sprites, and select the crate, the desks, the dresser, and the trash, and drag this over to the sprites array again. And now our obstacle is complete. 
we have a basic obstacle that'll create one of these particular items. The collider will be resized. And now we're ready to start adding in our player.